The science officer is responsible for monitoring the movement of all ships on the map, providing directional information for the helm officer, and shield status and shield frequencies of enemy ships to the weapons officer. You will be able to identify different objects on the map. There are several different kinds of ships on the map, represented by different colored dots. The green dot represents your ship. Cyan dots are friendly ships. White dots are enemy forces that have not yet been identified. You'll have to scan them to find out what kind of enemy they are. Red dots are enemy ships that have already been identified. And yellow circles represent your friendly stations. Every ship will have a unique label next to it, so you can effectively communicate to helm, weapons, and comms which ship to target or to contact. You can see environmental elements on the map as well. Large purple circles show the location of nebula. Flashing white circles represent mines. Orange circles are asteroids. Flickering white pixels on the screen are anomalies. These can be picked up for a 1000 energy boost and are worth 5 points in the competition. Finally, there are a couple more things roaming around the map. Green triangles with the word Xeno are space whales. They won't harm or help you, but they are pretty to look at. Small purple circles with question marks are dangerous space entities, and they'll attack anything that gets too close. To navigate on the map, use the dots on the left to change the zoom level, and press and drag on the screen to pan on the map. You can select any point on the map just by touching it. Next to your cursor, you will see the bearing, or direction from your ship to that point, as well as its distance from your ship. This will help you tell the helm officer which way to go in order to reach any point on the map. Remember, your helmsman can't see as far as you can, so you'll want to make sure he isn't flying the ship into a minefield. To select a target, just tap it on the map. A green box will appear to show that you have it selected. Remember, you can zoom in if necessary to make a more accurate selection. Once you have selected a target, you can see the bearing to that target, as well as its distance from your ship. You can press the Scan button in order to identify the target. Once a target has been scanned, you'll be able to see exactly what it is, the strength of its shields, and if it has any damage systems. You can scan a target a second time in order to see its shield frequency. When reading a target's shield frequency, the shortest bar represents the weakest frequency in the target's shields, and you can tell the weapons officer to set his beams to that frequency in order to cause the most damage. 